hello all welcome back today we are going to perform a small video on uh, checkpoint management server migration from r77.30 to r80.10 and this is my topology uh, i have a r88 r80.10 as well as r77 uh, management server first uh, i will perform the export from uh, r77 with the checkpoint migration export tool and I will import the configuration to R80.10. So let's begin the 7 dashboard uh, console standard. So I can perform some checks. Hoping that Google DNS yeah, can able to reach internet. And also I will try to browse some. Yeah. Yeah, I have able to reach the Facebook as well, page as well. So I will show the uh, rules as well. So this is the rule, and these are these are all the nodes I have created. For example, I will create one more rule uh, objects test rule, and here in that I want communication from my management PC to. I will create one more rule. Remote PC. One seventy two one sixty eight one dot one. And I will allow ICMP ICMP request accept dot the and this will be a bi-directional one I post the policy install the policy to the gateway so meanwhile uh, what I will do I have already downloaded the uh, checkpoint migration tool uh, from a checkpoint website so I will first I will export the policy from r77 dot through using WinSCP okay before that I have to provide a uh, bash access to this user or else it will not work admin and it uh, if you see here this uh, for this user the shell is having a trish access so I need to provide a bash access okay installation is successful so then log into this win SCP yeah, I'm able to log into the WinSCP and first what I will do is I will import the checkpoint migration tool uh, to R77.30 so uh, under var and a temp folder It will take some time to import that file, so I will pause this video. Okay, I have imported the migration tool, so we have to extract this uh, migration tool. So, for the putting and management server IP address is 182.168.1.1. Log. It is slash where dot temp and if you do this it will show the details and assignment MRT the details so I need to extract the checkpoint management tool here so for that tar hyphen excel and the filing to extract it we'll do a CLS hyphen LRT yeah can you able to see the extracted files so what I will do is I will use the dot slash migrate export the go to sms 77 I will provide the file name T see that so it will take some time and it is asking for the are you required to close all the application security management server and the uh, CP stop? So what I will do first, I will close the, all the dash dashboard and 
we want to continue yes and it's performing the popping the required points so meanwhile i will pause this video so it got exported and it's got saved in this path so what i will do i will go to that path and i will take that file to save that file to my desktop here is the file so i will save this to my desktop with the uh, file so what i will do i will close this one I will shut down the R77 management server and I will power power on the R80.10. R80.10 is up and running. So first we will check. Uh, I will provide the same IP address because the same IP address is already configured in uh, Gateway. So I will not change any uh, IP address. So for this interface, I will configure the same IP address. to 168 1.1 1 .1, uh, subnet mask is 24 uh, i will make the interface up state and i will save the config okay so we'll access the gui the first time is on for r80.10 logging with our admin username and password okay so i'll click uh, checkpoint first time configuration is on click on next next uh, default gateway to the man firewall ip address and i will mention its sms rat just dot com and i will provide a google dns and i will provide secondary Address size one eighty two one sixty eight eight dot two my next stop. Click on next. Three times same. Okay, we'll configure the security management server. So click on next. Click on next. Next. Okay. I will pause this video so until it finishes the configuration. Configuration completed successfully. So first, what we will do? So we have to do. We have to down, We need to download the smart console and install it. And meanwhile, I will need to change the user users user role. So I can uh, get into. Uh, I need to log into Bash instead of Clash. Click on OK. Okay, so I made the changes. So let's uh, log into WinSCP. Okay, so right now I am in R80.10. So I am in root. I will go to root and I need to log into opt cpsuit R80.10. cpsuit R80.10. Yes, this here is firewall and bin okay here you are able to see upgrade tools correct so what we will do is whatever the file we have exported from r77.30 we will import this exported file to this folder upgraded tools okay upload and it will take some time to upload the file so meanwhile i will pause this video until it completes it imported successfully so first i will log into the r70 r80.10 management server okay, so, I will, so i will log in with the username password enable the login to r80.10 so click on proceed now i'm able to launch the smart dashboard so here able to find the name and ip address so as of now i will close i will first we will see the policies any policies exist now here we can see that there is no any policies exist apart from clean up road. okay so we will close this smart dashboard so we will go to the cli and uh, 
and my password is admin at one of three. First, I will go to CD, so firewall. I will use a symbol slash after pin slash upgrade tools. If you want to see the path, PWD. so we are into upgrade tools folder. So we will do a ls so we can see the list. What we will do, we will import the configuration from our SMS on 77.30 for that dot slash migrate for file name this is the file name hit enter search finds yes sorry spell mistake okay it's asking me that uh, the import operation will eventually stop all the checkpoint services cp stop do you want to continue yes i want to continue hit enter so basically it will extract the database first and then it will update the package okay so it will take some time to uh, install okay, all the I'm details not. yeah now i can able to see that uh, it's completed successfully here you can able to see that uh, it's asking for uh, to start the services so let's click on s i'm trying to log into the rit.console so to log into the rit.smart console and see whether the gateways and the rules are available or not so i'm able to find the gateway here all see here you can see that we have great we have earlier we had a five rules and we are able to see five rules here uh, the objects as well network objects host okay there are two hosts okay let's try to push the policy to the gateway store Okay, what is the installation completed successfully? Now we will try to access. Uh, we'll try to ping the Google DNS. Whether we have, we have a internet connectivity or not. Yes, I can able to ping the Google DNS. Let's try to access the Facebook. I'm able to access the Facebook page as well as Google. Yes. So this concludes the migration lab completion. So I hope this video is informative for you and I would like to say thank you for watching.